afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another Propaganda Castle with me, your host, Imperial Dane. Today's topic is going to be the Flag Panther for Ostend, how to maximize this, well, now actually delightful unit to use as the Wehrmacht, since it's gone from being sort of mediocre, then they, in air quotes, buffed it, which actually made it worse, and now it's sort of got properly buffed, and now the Ostend Flag Panther is good. So, what is the Flag Panther? Well, the Flag Panther is effectively a tier 3 unit for the Mountain Supporma Core, 300 manpower, 100 fuel. It is an anti-aircraft tank, which of course also works really well versus infantry now, and also works kind of nicely versus light vehicles. Overall, relying on its high firepower with some good AoE, it actually has a limitation how many units it can damage at the same time from the same squad, so like, a bit like mines, it can only really like damage two units at the same time, but the thing is, it does a lot of damage very fast, meaning it actually kill a lot of units very fast, but also the opponent blobs, blobs up, for example, you know, they're sort of close enough together, they still kill a lot because, you know, it's only from each squad, so for example, like the two squads right on top of each other because he's blobbing up or bunching up, you know, it's still going to be able to like damage four units at the same time. So, I mean, don't underestimate the Austin Flak Pants abilities to deal a lot of damage to infantry. Additionally, it's actually kind of good versus a lot of light vehicles like stewards. ACs, of course, being able to take on medium tanks cause a, pro pose a bigger problem for the Flak Pants, but still deal with a lot of them. It's T70s on there. You can also take on issue and sixes because it flanks them. They don't actually stand a lot of a chance. Additionally, with enough veterancy or enough flak panzers, the Ostman can even begin to threaten some medium armor, though you have to flank the head from the rear armor. But again, like say a veterinary three flak panzer flanking, say a T-34 from the six or regular Sherman, can actually deal a surprisingly large amount of damage to them. So say two flak panzers with a good amount of veterancy can actually give your opponent's medium tanks a bit of cause for pause. Obviously, it's not gonna be able to counter them on their own, but it can deal a lot of damage. Also worth King Man, of course, is while it's tempting to about shooting wildly, the Ostwin is less accurate by a lot while moving, whereas again, as you might notice, standing still, it shoots a lot more accurately, again, further taking advantage of its good radio fire AoE, so while it may be tempting in certain cases, like, you know, move about a lot there, a lot of the time it's basically going to come down to finding good position, stopping up the Ostwin and just allowing it to hammer away at enemy infantry, because again, that way it will accurately hit, it will deal a lot of damage very fast, and quickly drop some models. It is in that sense also good for quickly surprising, say, um, enemy support weapons that are you know quite ready for it you know like say a 50 cal on the right spot it can quickly deal a lot of damage too so a well handled flak panzer now compared to before when before it got buffed is actually a surprisingly dangerous tool additionally you can use the massacre bulletin to give it a slight bit of suppression which again in a lot of cases may not matter but for some round negative cover just no ground it may just help you know further deal with enemy infantry and slow down an assault for example or suppress some defenders so a well handled flak panzer you can see they can very quickly make short work of infantry units and support weapons again can also threaten light vehicles and again as mentioned with sufficient veterancy can even threaten you know some medium tanks but on overall the Osman is a very good way to just pressure out infantry which is one of the things that they might actually really lacks a lot of the time so the flag pan for this regard is a good pick if you're ahead on resources the Osman is an excellent thing to rush ahead in particular they got a pack 40 just to bag up in case your opponent does rush out a medium tank or something like that or if, like, you know, it's close, you know, go for the Panzer for the Stute and then follow up on an Ostman just to put pressure on the infantry. Because, again, I do stress, it can put a lot of pressure on the infantry. It can allow you to just quickly clear out support weapons, infantry, and just, you know, keep the field free of any pesky allied troops, which is obviously what you really, really want. So, good use of the Ostman Flak Panzer, I find, can be very crucial for the Wehrmacht. It can be very helpful, at least. And I'm certainly surprised more Vermont players aren't trying to make use of the Austrian Flak Panzer since it is actually a quite effective vehicle. And again, you can add in that Massacre Bulletin for a bit of extra spice there to again just add a bit versus an infantry to really like. And obviously, you should be just using it as a mainline tank. So, on the flanks and the wings, also dealing with enemy harasses is also quite good. So, that is something worth keeping in mind there as well when it comes to using the Flak Panzer. You know, don't just look to charge right at the heart of them unless you get something to maybe either draw attention away from like a bigger tank or you're using it as bait to draw attention from something otherwise you don't want them to pay attention there's something there to keep in mind still and Austin flat panzer in particular again if you can get to like the high levels of infantry in particular veterinary three it just really begins chewing through enemy infantry so a flat panzer can be a very good investment to have as a Valmar plane as the over command rest but of course it has veterinary four and five it's also pretty good obviously you don't get access to the massacre bullets in there so I would certainly suggest you, if you have any issues with allied enemy infantry, consider getting an Ostman either as a backup to, you know, say your Stugs or Panzer Force to just further put pressure on the infantry because the Ostman will do a better job than your Panzer IV, 
Or, you know, something to rush out. If you actually got a slight bit of an edge of your opponent, the offspring can simply put so much pressure on the opponent, they will have a hard time just, you know, doing what they want. It's a very effective anti-infantry counter, and in that regard, I can strongly recommend the Ostwind. And a pair of them can just absolutely tear through enemy infantry if your opponent isn't careful, it can just chew them up. And again, can to some degree threaten enemy vehicles, or, you know, medium armor with sufficient veterancy like again they're not going to stop like a pershing on is2 I and mean, threaten them but you know they might just make you know an eschen is six or t 34 from six or regular Sherman flank it with enough veterancy feel a bit uncomfortable since again they have a high rate of farming they can't do a lot of damage i'm still surprised that they haven't nerfed the penetration on this thing to move on so that was actually my, one of my initial recommendations just nerf the penetration because again a pair of flak panzers can do some serious damage so there you go sort of the Propaganda castle on the flak panzer, why it is good, how to, you know, use the most of it, sort of situations it is good in, hopefully, and, you know, just the sheer utility of it. So hopefully after this you might consider using the flak panzer more. Always keep in mind that if you're rushing it out, have you been able to deny your opponent resource efficient? Have they gone for a lot of light vehicles, in which case rushing it out is great. If not, consider getting out something otherwise, unless you've got, say, double packs to back it up. But as again, it is a very strong infantry counter. If you really are having issues with allied infantry, a pair of them can... Really, I feel like do a lot for you in just sort of murdering an infantry. Or for that matter, if you've got a lot of enemy aircraft to deal with, it can also be quite handy. So hopefully, again, this video has been helpful to you. Hopefully, it's given you some ideas on how to use the mighty flak pants. If it has, subscribe, like, share, comment, tell a friend, tell a family, but don't tell your enemies. Of course, remember to press the bell button so you're notified of videos. And of course, if you like what you can, donate or pet on Patreon. Every video, you know, is ultimately made by the support of my fans. So do feel free to chuck in a few dollars if you're going to spare it. This is Imperial Engine, cheers, and thank you all for watching. See you another time. Cheers.